before a heart transplant patient leaves the hospital, uh, they will meet with a heart transplant coordinator. The heart transplant coordinator will be their main contact from that moment on. We will meet with the patient, we will meet with the family if they like. Um, we will make sure that they have uh, contact information to reach the office. We assure them there is someone available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, we explain to them that there are three coordinators and they may reach any one of the three when they call in if it is after hours. However, they do have a primary coordinator and during business hours, that is their prime contact. Once a heart transplant patient is discharged, we will make a follow-up call within several days. Uh, we will talk to the patient and their family, make sure they are comfortable with the situation, um, encourage them to ask any questions at that time, as well as to reassure them that they can reach us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, they have not had a transplant before, they're not familiar with the transplant process, so we want to assure them that no question is a dumb question. Um, we want them to, uh, to call us so we can help to talk them through this situation. We will also go through their biopsy and lab schedule at that time. We maintain our relationship with the post-heart transplant patient for the remainder of their life. Uh, we develop that relationship from the time they are discharged from the hospital, through the clinic visits, uh, monthly phone calls to discuss their blood work, and as time goes on, their clinic visits are decreased to twice yearly. But we do maintain that relationship lifelong. The post-heart transplant team is multidisciplinary. We have a group including the cardiothoracic surgeons, cardiologists, we have a doctor of pharmacology, transplant coordinators, and inpatient nurses. We make rounds on the inpatient units twice a week uh, to discuss the inpatient care. We also have a team meeting every Monday that again would include surgeons, cardiologists, coordinators. We discuss all the patients we saw in clinic that week. We make any changes to their treatment plan and discuss any patients that are having issues at that time. UPMC has a cardiothoracic transplant program that has a team of world-renowned cardiothoracic surgeons, cardiologists, and immunologists. But beyond that, there is the personal approach of developing a relationship with their transplant coordinator. The patient has come to rely on their coordinator to be there for them for the remainder of their life.